Corgis are like notoriously known for having like their super round egg shaped butt. And sadly, this corgi does not have her butt cheeks because the previous groomer chopped them straight off. Okay, but like not in like a harmful way, but just in like the way where she doesn't have hair there anymore. It's completely flat. It's giving flat Stanley and I'm honestly a little bit sad for her. But this is Molly and she's a Welsh corgi. There's actually two different kinds of corgis. There's the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and then the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. I believe that's how you say it. Molly obviously doesn't get like a full haircut, but on hair coats like hers, I like to do like some slight trim ups on like the legs, the butt, the underneath, and her chest. Before anything, I gotta scrub a dub dub her in the tub, make sure that I get out all her undercoat and make sure she is as clean as possible so she smells super good for her parents at home. In the video, I'm kind of like half-assed washing her just because I'm like holding the camera and trying to wash her at the same time, but she was moping during this whole wash and just like, as you see, sticking her head in the corner of the tub. Corgis are just so dramatic. They always are. We have another corgi named Kevin that comes into our other location and he is the sassiest creature. I mean, Molly is very sassy too, but like, if you go too close to Kevin's nose, he will bite your nose. Kevin don't play games, and I'm sure Molly doesn't either, but I don't want to test her. Now that Molly looks super shiny, and of course she's clean, I'm able to cut some hair around her feet and legs. I find that there's some groomers when it comes to dogs like Molly where they just do like the bath, the blow out the nails, the paw pads, but like they don't do like any scissor work on these types of dogs and I feel like that's kind of where the difference is between like me and like some other groomers. Like of course they don't really need their hairs to be trimmed up like this, especially in Molly's case since she doesn't really grow that much hair. I feel like though the owners appreciate it so much more when like their dogs look like super sharp and fresh. Hopefully that's like a little tip for some dog groomers out there that do dogs like this. Just like clean it up a little bit. It makes it look so much nicer and you know, it doesn't really take that much more time. Also, if you can't tell, Molly was screaming this whole time I was grabbing her leg. And this is what I'm saying. Corgis are just very sassy creatures and so dramatic. Very, very dramatic. Forgot to add that. Huskies are definitely the most dramatic dogs out there, I feel like, in my opinion, especially male huskies that haven't been neutered. Oh my goodness. No offense to your dog if you, like, actually train your dog and take care of your dog, but untrained, intact, like, male huskies are so stubborn and dramatic, it's just ridiculous. You can't touch their feet, you can't touch their belly, you can't touch their ears, you can't touch their nails. You basically can't touch them anywhere besides like maybe the back or like the top of their head. And the whole time they will most definitely scream like there's literally no tomorrow. So if Huskies are at like a 10, I would rate Molly probably like a 6.1 maybe. She wasn't like super super stubborn, but she wasn't amazing for the blow dryer and she like moved her leg every single time I was like cutting any hair. Maybe Miss Girl is salty because she got no butt cheeks, like th there ain't nothing there. Hopefully Molly will be on my schedule again so then like I can work with her hair and actually like grow her in some butt cheeks because seriously, what is a corgi without their signature butt cheeks? I gave Molly a red bow because it matches the fire in her soul and the sassiness in her heart. It's kind of funny because I always try and find like a bow tie or like a bow that matches the dog's personality. Like very, very aggressive dogs, I give them a black bow tie because their soul is black. And then like dogs that are super sweet, I give them a white bow tie because they're an angel. I feel like dog groomers all have the reasons for their selection of accessories. But I'm all done with Molly. Bye, Molly!